Hey guys, my name is Dakshi Gupta and welcome back to my channel Code with Dakshi. So in this video, I will tell you about stats. Okay, as you all know guys that if you are learning or you learn about data science, right? So it include stats. So without stats, you can do project of this, right? So first of all, let's talk about what is statistical analysis so when we talk about developing insights out of data it is basically digging out the possibilities so these possibilities in this field is known as statistical analysis right so as you all know guys in data science approach is how the information is proceed right so how the information is proceed with the help of statistical analysis okay so after this let's talk about importance of statistics for data science right so there are many many important steps which include in this right so number one is Identify the importance of features by using various statistical tests. Okay. Second is finding the relationship between feature to eliminate the possibility of duplicate features. As you all know that in any project, duplication is involved. For that duplication, we have to remove that duplicate values or the null values for the improvement of the project right then converting the features into the required format then normalizing and scaling the data this step involves the identification of distribution of data and nature of data then our last step is once the results are obtained the results are verified on different accuracy measurement scales okay so data processing from beginning to the end the complete cycle there is a requirement of statistics at every single step right so that's why a good statistician set uh, sorry statistician can be a good data scientist as well okay so guidance of learning statistics right so first is probability right so what is probability probability is the basic need for understanding the possibilities to start with probability let us take a very basic example like i am giving you one example by this you will clear about what is probability so there there are two teams team a and team b so team a is going to win the football match against team b to derive the answer we might require 100 people to give their respective notes number of samples okay so based on those votes we have a chance of which team can win the game right but in this example we come across another very important concept which is known as sampling so this example includes sampling like team a or team b which will win the game so identifying the right person right set of people to vote for their results so the probability is the chance of whether the event will occur or not depending upon the scenario we can build different solution around this it may be team a team a wins and maybe team B means okay so after probability second one is sampling so what is sampling sampling as we discussed in the above example is identifying the right set of people okay so the question is what are the right set of people who are they so in last example we have hundred people who have a good knowledge of football we know about the history of team a and team b 
who should not be biased towards a team because of their personal preferences. So identifying the right sample can be done by various statistical approaches like simple random sampling, systematic sampling, stratified sampling and clustered sampling. So sampling are of four types. Okay. Simple random, systematic, stratified, cluster sampling. Okay. So after probability and sampling, next is tendency and distribution of data. So it includes normal distribution. So normal distribution is very significant. For example, when we talk about distribution of height and weight, right? Of the world, it is normally distributed data showing the symmetry of nature. The normal distribution is like mean, mode, median. And I know that you all know about what is mean, what is mode, what is median, right? So these data are supposed to be very accurate data. So identifying the distribution and skewness of data is very important concept. So in tendency and distribution of data, it includes normal distribution, means mean, mode, median, right? And uh, you have done also in data science projects, mean, mode, median, right? So after this, next, uh, next is hypothesis of testing, right? So in this, it gives identifying the situation where the action should be taken or not. So it includes like A or B testing, Z testing, T testing, right? And null hypothesis with similar relevance. Okay, so main thing is null hypothesis, Z test, T test, okay? And A or B testing, right? So after this, next is variations. So when we talk about different variations in data, we talk about the error and shift in data along with the variations in data of the range of data relationship within the data. Like it includes variations includes like variance, range, standard deviation, error deviation, covariance, correlation, casualty, etc. So these are the example of variations. Okay. So after this, let's talk about regression. Okay, I know you heard about linear regression, logistic regression. Okay, so the regression is simple terms is finding out relationship between independent and dependent variables. So regression is of two types, linear regression, multilinear regression. Okay, so let me tell you the formula of these both linear regression is minus y sorry y equals to a of x plus c and multilinear regression equals to y equals to a x plus b x1 plus c x2 plus so on and plus c okay so statistics is wide concept limiting not just to what exists but when can be but can be derived out of existing techniques to build something new right so there is always a way to do it better so find it and become an innovator right so this is all about statistics for data science okay these are the important thing that you should know if you want to become a data scientist right so i hope you like this video so please guys like my video subscribe my channel and please follow me on instagram link is in description so let's meet in next video thank you so much